Hello traders, this is Alla Peters, founder of Alpha Wave Trader Method. In this webinar today, I will share with you how I developed my method, what my method based on, and more than anything, I look forward to answering your questions. But as always, do not ever trade without recognizing and understanding all the risks involved in trading, as well as spend time reading U.S. government required disclaimers before you ever, ever trade life, you need to make sure you can afford the risks involved in trading. So, what makes AlphaWave Trader method so unique? I'm incredibly proud that I developed a method that applies to any instrument in any time frame. I'm incredibly fascinated with price. I am still years later spending time with price. It's my hobby. I think price is the most underappreciated puzzle of all. I think it's a magnificent puzzle that you never, ever, ever, ever need an indicator for price tells you everything you need to know reversals corrections trend inception trend continuation and if you apply Fibonacci levels you know extremely well where to take profits of the table example this is a trade Abe you can confirm you was you were visiting we took in our trading room on S&P this morning when we came to alpha wave trader pretty please hold your questions do not distract me until after i'm done and abe behave place a time frame next to the instrument if you like me to analyze it back to reality without distractions that's what happened this morning on s and p this is alpha wave trader fibonacci levels that tell you extremely well every morning before I start in the trading room and I will post the invitation at the end of the webinar we analyze this in our education room with our students and this is the rule that we addressed this morning do not touch any longs it don't matter to me what the buyers are doing because the price showed extremely clearly it is the reversal zone therefore my bias is bearish we waited extremely patiently and took a trade after the news about 35 to 40 minutes after market open and that's a spectacular collapse we knew was coming because that's where the price was and that's the magic absolutely no indicators of any kind they are used students in the course trading on multiple platforms multiple instruments if you listen to audio testimonies posted on the website especially listen to what De Janice has to say as Janice should be speaking at trading conventions begin a trader who doubled her account and never took any other course thinks the trading is the easiest thing ever she simply looks at the price applies the rules being patient and being disciplined applying Fibonacci levels for targets and if Janice can do it begin a trade a beautiful retired lady in Florida so as anyone can do it that shows you the power of the price Fibonacci patience and discipline so Price tells you all these levels far, far, far in advance. If you look on Fibonacci archives, you would see extremely clearly that we've been shorting Euro with our Forex students forever and ever and ever. That we've been short on Euro since very, very high levels, as you could see from 3900. 3400 was first target. And this is where Euro Daily is sitting very, very pretty right now. It's only bullish correction. Euro is pointing down to drastically lower levels. But the point I'm trying to make to you is 
price tells you all these levels far in advance. No indicator on the planet will tell you where trend reversal levels will be, where trend continuation. Euro is showing potential 2700, 2600. And it's a world of difference as Abe, I hope you would confirm, of the same thing we witnessed today on oil. So, I will go back to oil in just a second. Pay attention to correction. Big difference. When price comes to reversal zone, it only tells you that trend is tired and trend will become unpredictable. Monitor for the rules and only then take reversals. I don't see any longs on euro. That was exactly the point this morning on oil. As oil on hourly came to a reversal zone, but been doing this fluffy dance since Friday because it had not been able to break through decision point one to the upside. And this was finally the rally we discussed, correct, tape? That's still very corrective because reversal zone is a massive problem to the upside. So again, reversal zone, massive pain spelled out by the price and four critical rules I was teaching two hours ago in our theory class, which I do every Monday afternoon. No reversals yet. Big difference. S&P had done so. That's why there was no trading on oil this morning. Our students took advantage pre-market, but after trading room open, it was very, very painful. Big difference between reversals versus corrections. So, I worked with multiple software developers. I know extremely well indicators. I used multiple software so and I know that if you found software that works it's an exception it's not the rule if you found that software that works more than likely it's not for sale more than likely it costs fortune and let's locked up so far and away that very very few can reach it because the software that makes money is not affordable I spend a fortune, I spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on software. I spent a very, very long time working with developers and I understood something extremely clearly. Every single software and every single indicator is delayed unless it has a very powerful Fibonacci formula. So, 99.9% .9 of the software will never tell you how the market will behave in the future. 99.9% .9 of the time indicators will tell you how late the point of entry is because every time you have to apply the formula. Price tells you all of this far in advance. Price is like bad looking girl in the room that you have to get to know and once you get to know her you recognize she's fascinating, she's interesting, she's fun to be around. All she needs a little dash of makeup and few inch heels and she'll be a blast. Indicators are like Magdis. Indicators are like very good looking girl that is extremely exciting for a couple of minutes. Once you spend a couple of hours you're bored out of your mind and you see that indicators whilst well, you spend time with them especially moving averages crossover which are absolutely fantastic in trending markets but trending markets play out 20 percent of the time 80 percent of the time by the time you take long you're supposed to take short and vice versa for example this is s p today at the market close Ouch! If you use moving averages crossovers right here, you're getting smashed big time. When market trends, no problem. Here, massive pain and massive suffering that no trader should be touching or trading. 
only your knowledge of the price will tell you the difference between reversals versus corrections. So, when I teach in private mentoring, I log in into my students' computers and I concentrate on the instrument of my student's choice. I currently work with an oil trader in Bogota, South America. I worked with forex traders, stock traders, CTF traders. I trained hedge fund traders. I trained retired day traders. It's all the same and I've seen that somebody who is as beautiful and as amazing as Janice doing the best. But somebody like Jim had been in the markets for 20 years. 20 years and he's at break even. When I logged in into his computer and I saw all of these indicators, I stopped counting at nine. Nine indicators later I asked, how much money did you spend on this? What do you know about the market? He said, all these years I've been studying indicators. If you cluttering the price with indicators, you will never learn anything. If trader pays attention to flashing lights, flashing arrows, stochastics, crossovers, it looks exciting, but does it make you money? If it does, Good luck. You're an exception. You are not the rule. Stick with it. Forever remember one thing. You found something in trading that works. Stick with it. And that's extremely important. Don't jump all over the place. And forever remain the rule. If something does not work, stop doing it. Stop the cycle of insanity. Stop repeating the same thing. Ask yourself a question. Is it the strategy? Is it the software? Or is it you not being disciplined and patient trader? And that's where self-awareness comes from. And you have to know the answer. Where is the problem lying? Is it an indicator? Is it in software? Or is it in you as a trader who is struggling with trigger happiness and struggling with discipline. So, this is the article I will print highlight at the end. Extremely important line that I constantly remind my students. Study that was published in Wall Street Journal a year and a half ago. The moment trader recognizes the trigger happiness is the reason why only 4% succeeds. The moment the trader recognizes that especially trading just like life is critical to master your bad instincts. This is the key. This is what every single trader has to print out. Our brain designed to overtrade. One second please. A bit of a noise outside my window. Hold on. So if you combine this self-awareness that you constantly have to be selective, conservative and play by the rules, you're becoming self-aware trader that has drastically high chance of success. So less things you have on your charts, more knowledgeable trader you become, more clearly you can see what price will do far in advance. So Fibonacci is a key concept that I use for profit targets, support and resistance levels. All proprietary Fibonacci levels are used and taught in the course. I don't use standard Fibonacci levels. I developed my own. Every single trade placed manually. I do not sell software to place trades. When I get the emails with requests to sell software, it breaks my heart. Again, I pride myself in developing my own method that is free on any platform and applies to any instrument. If you knew AlphaWave Trader Method, you had opportunity to buy S&P since 2009. If you browse social media and Fibonacci forum archives, you would see that extremely clearly. 
just like you would see extremely clearly that this rally is way overextended. This was the very last post I posted in August before I left on vacation. So, and there we go. It's going to get pretty exciting. 2100 is ultimate destination. But that's where S&P is. Way overextended. Monthly chart, first time in five years. It is not to be ignored. So monitor for selling pressure, and if you are a position trader, it's way too late to buy. So the same formula I use on S&P Monthly, I use on S&P 15-minute chart. 15-minute chart will forever remain my favorite. This was our trade this morning, and this is where I was trailing, saying to the guys, Abe, or anyone who was in the room, this was massive, massive, massive fight. Buyers were not able to break through, reminding you how important these levels are. That was our nine point short from 1996. And pay attention to where market had closed. And price spelled it out since overnight markets. Where market will collapse? And it don't matter to me if it's S&P 15 minutes, if it's Apple weekly, whatever has price has exact same formula. Speaking of the devil, here's Apple Weekly reminding you the danger of buying this late. Price had been unpredictable, showing very clearly bearish corrections. The very last buying opportunity on Apple was at 75. So, pretty powerful bearish corrections are in a play on Apple. I would not be buying Apple right now. Way too late. So, that's a nutshell, is it, to be honest. I will go over the key rules in just a second, and I look forward to answering your questions. So, this is a very powerful ratio that I use on every single trade I place. The inception of the trend is what tells you it's like a bud of the blooming flower. How far the trend will go. And if you know the rules, you know extremely well where the trend will end. It's that simple. And here are the key rules you learn in the course. The key rules I taught this Monday morning with our new students. So, here is the basic and critical principle in Alpha Wave Trader method. Only trade inception of the trend. Do not ever trade counter trend wave 2. Enjoy the ride of wave 3. Stay out of wave 4. Do not ever get tempted to buy at the end of wave 3. You're acquiring position at reversal zone. Bad idea. You may get lucky, but 90% of the time you will get in serious trouble. Because price will do two things. Opposite trend correction or opposite trend reversal. That's all there is. We keep re keeping, recapping these rules applying Fibonacci levels, and that's all that there is. The only conflict I have with trading room and education, we're sitting in trading room where I demonstrate the method, where I will post the link to the trading room. If market is in counter trend structure wave 2 and wave 4, I will be taking aggressive trades. Our students know extremely well not to do that. Trading room is only open three hours a day. And you can see on this link the track record for the last two years from the trading room where I demonstrate the method. So, that's all there is. Price is simple. And it keeps repeating the same dance time and time again. So, here's the classic structure of NASDAQ. Five waves are formed, price reversing. Very, very beautiful and very, very powerful.
classic clean major trend. This is the biggest problem for traders. Ranging markets play out 80% of the time. It's breaking my heart when traders go for phenomenal targets. How can you possibly do that? There are only two instruments in the market, or perhaps there are instruments I've never heard of, such as DEX and OIL, very low liquidity instruments that are incredibly volatile. All the other instruments are very, very, very consistent, ranging markets 80% of the time. And if you know and respect that, you cannot be going for 10 points on S&P daily. So when I get a silly question, what is your point daily on S&P? Here's my answer. Silly question. If S&P stuck in correction and I did not take a trade, I know that I preserved my capital. And that's the key. If you review the YouTube blog and YouTube channel, you would see how much fun we had when I opened up a trading room for FOMC release. This was FOMC on S&P, correct? Massive, massive worthless chop. I have screenshots and again all the videos, I will put it up for you. If you were trading this, good luck on that one. If somebody set the average point on that day or on that corrective day, ouch! We bought S&P here after market settled down. That was after FOMC release. Five minutes. Simple. We stay out, stayed out of correction completely. That simple. Price is not complicated. So if you listen to audio testimonies, you can listen to amazing Catherine who trades DAX. So, and others who trade natural gas ETFs, whatever has price, has alpha wave trader formula. And that's the power of changing markets that you could see. Respect Fibonacci levels highly. So, the most powerful wave in the market structure, wave 3. You get in serious trouble if you start acquiring position at the end of wave 3. Bad idea! If you're a knowledgeable trader, you are never, ever, ever buying at that levels. Way too late. And here's another example. Alpha short. Ouch! You came to the markets and markets are in reversal zone. The only thing you can do is walk away. Until rules are met, do not touch a trade. Simple. It recognizes, it takes evolution of a trader to come to that conclusion. Here's an example. We've been waiting for 1991 area on oil since forever and ever and ever and ever. I love, love, love oil news release. We were in the room last week, oil news release. I said, forget it. Who cares about bearish news? We only buy, buy, buy. And that was a blast. Bearish news, long trade. We do it all the time because news is completely worthless if it counterdicts the price. News is extremely powerful if news is in sync with the price. So, extremely interesting as oil is extremely tired what it will do next. As we were discussing, how powerful this buying opportunity is. So our bias had been long, long, long from this area. So keeping my fingers crossed that oil is going to be somewhere here on Wednesday at the time of the news release, we'll buy again. Because on daily chart, this is the end of the minor trend. All you have to do is play by the rules. And if rules are met, you take a trade. That simple. You just have to identify what instrument and what time frame is appropriate for you and your account size. 
So here's a couple of examples, as you could see, exactly the same structure, euros three minute. Exact same reminder, do not trade wave two, bad idea, enjoy the rally, the inception wave three. Very, very powerful and very critical, wave in the market structure. Oil has tendency to take you for surprise as oil is very, very funky. That's why no beginner trader should ever be trading oil unless you already doubled your account elsewhere. So, massive, massive funk, but once again, oil respects Fibonacci levels. This is as clean and as classic of a structure as it will ever get. Five wave structure. Here the trader got a little lucky just tiny bit of wave 5 and if trader does not understand the structure very powerful collapse completely expected exactly what happened on S&P this morning identical exactly to the tick identical structure the same thing as Google one minute S&P hourly So, in summary, I trade and teach two concepts. This is all I believe in. Price is the alphabet of the market. When I look at price, all I need is this, to tell you what will happen next. Because of my experience, I don't even have to apply Fibonacci levels to know that, where to take profits of the table where we enter, where to do everything else. It doesn't matter if I look on S&P monthly, S&P one minute, five range, euro daily, bonds hourly, it does not matter. So we traded bonds hourly in our Fibonacci bootcamp August this year. I adore and love bonds. It's only bummer you have to wake up three o'clock in the morning in California to trade bonds. So, and once you identify the four critical rules, you know what you would like to trade. In the course I teach on S&P and oil, in private mentoring I work with the instrument of your choice. No software, no indicators, any markets and any time frame. Fibonacci price waves is all that matters. Nothing else matters, nothing else forms. This is what defines wave formations, wave terminations, and gives you high probability entries, high probability targets, and show you incredibly clearly areas of inherent danger. So speaking of the devil, I want to make sure I don't forget to give you the link to the trading room. When you come tomorrow morning, and I highly encourage you to log in on time, at 9.30 I do Fibonacci review and we discuss what to expect in the markets, just like it was extremely important to be on time on S&P as I continue emphasizing the short and continue emphasizing the correction on oil. So this is where I demonstrate the method, keyword demonstrate. Somebody has an illusion that you can be a follower in day trading, it's illusion. You can be a follower in position trading, maybe not in day trading. So, I run simultaneously Alpha Wave Traders Club with our students and those who would like to remain there after graduation. I guide students through the trades, we discuss live trading, we do the trade recaps, Fibonacci reviews well before trading room open. Monday and Friday I teach classes. That's all there is. So, that's Alpha Wave Trader Method. And that's what I'm proud of. And that's what I teach. And that's what I trade in our trading room. So just heads up, helpful links when you come to the website. If you click on key points about AWT, it's a summary page that has everything you need to know. You click on various links, it would take you to multiple pages. Any questions, feel free to email me. If you come to the blog, the video I mentioned to you, this was a fantastic trade we took today. This is our monthly summary. 
and if you scroll lower down you would see incredibly clearly the videos I mentioned to you FOMC trade and oil news trade it's all available on the blog on YouTube channel and this is the exciting part our graduates audio testimony so Cassie is a wild dex trader she came to visit me recently in California Janice is the lady who needs to be a role model for everyone this is when she finished the course and she already doubled her account she's never done anything ever she has no preconceived notions she has no ego she's patient disciplined lady and that's the reason why women make much better traders because our ego is so much smaller it is so much easier for us to play by the rules so I am ready to answer your questions I would like to um, first prepare the instruments of your choice instrument of your choice so let me get additional data feed I see the question ES and CL which I already highlighted multiple time frames again if there is no time frame I will pull up the first one as I mentioned earlier please post your questions on futures forex and stocks last so we looked on S&P hourly we looked on S&P 15 we looked on S&P monthly, we looked on S&P daily, we looked on oil hourly, we looked on oil daily. So I already answered those questions, Abe. It's not a problem. Cad one hour, great question. No questions about futures? I have no idea what that means. No questions about futures? Please let me know the name. On every platform it's a different abbreviation. On Ninja Trader, I'm not sure what that means. UVXY. Every platform has different abbreviations. You just give me the title and I will pull it up. So, while you're thinking, let's go on Google, Google hourly, since there is no time frame posted. Google. So let me show you what I'm expecting on Google and the reason why Google staged such a collapse. But 20% of our students are stocks and options traders. Formula remains the same. So this is why Google collapsed and this is where Google is sitting currently. Now the reversal zone and that's a picture perfect reminder. If you know where the reversal zone is, you would recognize the importance of not acquiring position here. First time Google came to this level, it struggled to break to the upset for 5-6 hours. This fight continued staging pretty impressive bearish corrections. And here's a reminder, ultimate collapse. So, what am I projecting on Google currently? This is a fight between the levels on Google hourly. This is extremely powerful level. Google cannot break to the upside with buyers. So, extremely important monitor for shorts on Google as Google is showing potential collapsing here and drastically lower. I don't have data to ETFs, major stocks, forex and futures. Try to substitute it with something else. Okay, is that clear? bullish correction in a play completely worthless buyers are weak this worthless dance may continue on Google completely I would not be buying Google with lightning pole Google hourly show me extremely clearly collapse further down 581 is the end of the minor trend if you know alpha wave trader rules you know what to monitor for that is very critical next question cat one hour no questions on futures? There is no futures traders in the room? Cat one hour is marvelous. Beautiful. Raleigh.
I miss Forex. I actually want to move to London for a year and only trade Forex. Speaking of the devil, this is what I'm monitoring for on CAD one hour. I'm gonna get pretty exciting and pretty. Please keep me posted. Or if you're tomorrow in a trading room, remind me. Next level 1178 on CAD. Expect huge selling pressure at 1100. Extremely important level 1100 area. It doesn't matter to me, Abe. I apply my formula. Day number has zero meaning whatsoever. Whatsoever. CAD. Spectacular buying opportunity at drastically lower levels. 1100 is ultimate destination. Bullish rally will continue until about 1100. You're going to start seeing pretty serious selling pressure here. Clear? You take a trade if you know the rules. This is the end of the minor trend. CAD stage spectacular rally. If you know the rules, you took short on S&P because you understand what it means when words say reversal zone, monitor for short, do not buy too late. Make sense? That's what we've been discussing the entire webinar. You trade off these levels. Price tells you all these levels far in advance. On CAD, you knew these levels since... I will tell you since when. Since last Thursday. Last Thursday, CAD told you where this rally will be and you had opportunity to buy at 10.90. These levels are profit targets. These levels are reversal zones. These levels are trend exhaustion points. Just the same well you use profit targets. That's what you use this levels for. So next question. Google cat. It's all posted in front of you. Depends what option suits for you. We have three students who started this afternoon. You can sign up at any time. One of the girls who just signed up is a stock trader. And if you listen to audio testimonies on the website, you would see quite a few are stock traders. Any other questions, please? S&P one minute. Was that the question? Gold daily is a great question. Gold daily. Coming up. I love trading S&P one minute. It's a new chart I brought into the room because our amazing DEX trader loves one minute chart. Okie dokie, the bias on gold remains bearish, extremely bearish. This is where gold is currently. Okay, gold ultimate destination is 1200. Pay attention to what happened on gold daily. This is picture perfect reminder and how essential it is to respect these levels. Gold collapsed, giving a beautiful shorting opportunity from this area. When it came to the first target, decision point one, it staged incredible fight for one, two, three, four, five days. Gold finally co collapsed, respecting this level. 1200 is the ultimate destination. If you know the rules, I would be looking for a buy. But it means nothing unless rules are met. 1200 is ultimate destination on the short. We already start seeing buying pressure, but it's not powerful enough. So, shorts in this area, inception of the trend. By the time you come here, you trail carefully. This is the end of the minor trend, is not to be ever ignored. Price spelled out extremely clearly this level a long time ago, since July. Since July, we knew where reversal zone will be. 
So I have major stocks, I have Forex, and I have futures. Is RUT a major stock? I will gladly pull it up. Please let me know, is RUT a stock? Russell RUT is not Russell on Ninja, it's TF. That's why it's very dangerous to make that on Ninja it's TF. TF, not Russell. I developed my method on Russell. It's extremely important to recognize. It is not, has nothing to do with Every single platform, every single platform gives you different abbreviations. We have students on Sierra Charts, Infinity. Ninja is by far my favorite. There is no comparison. The reason why I dropped Russell is because Russell vanished as a future. Volume does not exist. As you could see clearly, it's TF. Clear? You don't want to trade future that has headquarters in Atlanta. We were in the markets a couple of times when there was only one to one hundred contracts in the market. Brokers charge you fortune to trade Russell. That's the reason why I stopped trading Russell. I only traded Russell for five years. What time frame on Russell? June? Or oh, who is asking me, Michael? What time frame, please? On Russell. You have to tell me the name. UVXY is not, does not exist on Ninja. Just like Russell does not exist as RUT on Ninja. What time frame on Russell, please? Okay, it doesn't matter what time frame. Okie dokie, so what do I expect on Russell? I expect huge bounce on Russell, incredible buying opportunity at 1100 on Russell daily. And this is dance on Russell, Russell daily. Eleven hundred reversal zone 2, showing very powerful buying opportunity. If you want to trade incredibly small lot size, you want to trade Russell. Any other questions, please? Besides the question to cover multiple time frames? Sarb, if you tell me the word for UVXY, I will gladly pull it up. UVXY on Ninja does not exist. Everybody trades on different platform. What is the name? I will see if I have a data feed for UVX5. I've been working with other traders for the last three years. Nobody ever asked me a question about UVXY. Volatility ETF. Yes, I mentioned. I don't have data feed for ETF. We already looked on gold daily. Bert, you're breaking my heart. We already done that. We said buy on gold at 1200. Where have you been? So, the only questions I have a short time, Russell. Any other questions? Yes, yeah, so if you're going to look on the webinar recording, you can go back five minutes because we just looked on gold daily. Okie dokie. So, this is the reason and this is the picture perfect reminder. This is Russell five minute chart makes me extremely nostalgic looking at Russell. That's why it's not my favorite thing to look at. So, is that clear how important reversal zone is? Is that clear how important it is not to acquire position into this level and to monitor for reversal? Five minutes, a lunchtime US. I'm in California. Beautiful buy. 
very very bad idea to short anywhere near here is that clear why Fibonacci levels are so important does this make sense thank you thank you daily coming up Now three, it's way too late to sell. When price comes to reversal zone, you don't want to be short. So here's in Q five minute chart. In Q five minute chart. Reminder, what happens when price comes to reversal zone? The smartest thing you can do if you are short, take profits of the table, complete worthless bullish corrections, absolutely nothing that tradable on NQ, 5 minutes. So let's take a look on NQ, daily chart. So, I expect incredibly powerful and bullish day on NQ potentially tomorrow. Mm-hmm. It would be extremely exciting tomorrow or day after tomorrow. Do you know why? This is NQ daily. Take a look. If you are long, you better not be buying anywhere near here. And that was massive, massive war zone. The last buying opportunity was at this level. NQ is not far off. This is picture perfect reminder how powerful are levels. No, Michael, it don't matter to me. I don't use that. I developed my own method. I have no idea what it means. It means nothing. Make sense? I developed my own method. I developed my own rules. I don't look at any of that ever. So traders, let me find an invitation to the trading room and you can come and visit tomorrow morning if you like. Again, I demonstrate the method on S&P and futures and oil futures. But you can choose and you can trade whatever you like. So... If you have any other questions, I'm here. Again, in a nutshell, method based on price and Fibonacci applies to any instrument in any time frame, as I had shown you on multiple examples. You apply critical four rules, you know where to take profits of the table, you never use indicators ever again. You can trade on any platform, you can trade any instrument. Currently, I have the girl in the course who trades stocks, but she's learning everything on S&P and oil. After her first Fibonacci class, she's 90% accurate. So, about 10% of the students learn everything on the first class. On the first class. It depends on your background, depends on your knowledge. And that's it. If you don't have any other questions, I wish you a fantastic afternoon and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Let's see what NASDAQ will do. 
if you're in the trading room, remind me and we'll revisit this area. And just remember to never, ever, ever, ever acquire position into reversal zone. Those are trend exhaustion levels that are absolutely essential to respect. Thank you so much for your time. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow.